Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video, we are going to be doing a look inspired by my Thanos tie-dye shirt that I did last week. I am so excited for this video. I really want to try that tie-dye trend where they do like the tie-dye at the top of the eye and then they like cut the crease and do all that jazz. So that's what we're going to be attempting today. If you are new here, hi, my name is Literally Lewis and I'm based in Adelaide, Australia. And I love makeup. Let's get bloody started. Uh, not doing that. I'm going to take this all off and I'm going to start again. Do another look. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why I showed you, but I did just try to attempt that tie-dye-esque, like, upper eye and then cut the crease moment but it just wasn't working i think the colors that i'm using are too like similar to each other so they're just all kind of blended into each other i think i'm going to revisit that when i do pride month so i'm going to do it with rainbow um it's not original but i just really like the, the way of the look and i'm going to be doing a whole bunch of rainbow looks in pride month next month i'm so excited but yeah let's try again <laughs> So in today's look, I'm going to be using three Jeffree Star palettes, but this is just because I want a specific color from each palette. If you have these colors all in one palette, then that's really good. But yeah, I'm going to be using three different palettes today. I've been doing this a lot lately because I've always like tied myself down to do a look with one palette because I feel like that's what people want because they don't want to grab numerous palettes. But for this one in particular, I'm going to be grabbing a few palettes or Jeffree Star, of course. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Alien to start off with and ET phone home. Actually, should I do like an Instagram moment where I like, I just flip the switch, flip, flip. And I'm going to go in with a shade tall gray. I'm going to... Start pressing that in the crease and I'm going to do that Ooh, shape, you know the one, you'll see. <laughs> and I'm going to really just press it on to begin with and then I'll blend it out. Coming over here and then slowly coming down and then we'll make a little bit of a dip here and then start coming back up towards the brow. I think I want this to be quite dramatic because there is six soul stones that I need to fit on my eye. Um, I'm going to take this past my eyebrow. Just using, uh, use link, using circular motions and windscreen wiper motions. Barely touching the skin. And then once again, I'm going to pack it on. I'm so annoyed because this side turned out so much better shape than this side. And this is my good side, but this is my bad side, but it turns out so much better. Ugh, vessel problems. Anyway, moving on, let's go in with the next shade. I'm going to be using Miss Jobreka, and we're going to be using Miss... Oh, We're going to be using Miss Delicious, the shade right here. It is a beautiful navy blue, and I think it'll be perfect, and it also matches perfect with my shirt. So, like, that's the whole point of the look. And I'm going to pack this on the inner portion of tall grey to give it that depth and dimension. But you see how like they're very very similar so like that tie-dye look was just bound to flop. Like if you want to do that tie-dye look the colours need to be like drastically different or like a light colour and like a really neon colour or a really dark colour. These two are just like too similar. Oh my god, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about the new Norvina liners. Oh my god. So these new Norvina liners, I really like the look of them. A lot of people are saying that they look like melt packaging. And like, I don't know how you could do like liner packaging without it looking like Colourpop or Melt or like another brand because it's kind of already all done, been done before, but I really like how they've gone like all neon with the packaging. So you know exactly what color are you gonna get, and it's got the logo on the top of it. I think it's really good packaging. Not gonna lie, but yeah, I saw people popping off in the comments because that's all they want to do, um, saying that it looks too much like Mel. I'm like, no, it doesn't look really anything like Mel to be honest. It's just the same kind of packaging. But Mel haven't done like neon liners, have they? I don't think they have. They've they done they do like grungy colours. I don't know, I just guess people just wanna 
pop off about anything they can really, don't they, these days. But yeah, just packing this on all the way until the end. And then I'll probably grab my other brush that I use for tall grey and blend it out a little bit more. But yeah, that's basically done. I'm just going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and it probably looks a lot different than when I left camera. I just want to like really take my time with this look because I want it to be really good. Um, so I did a lot off camera. I did a lot of building up and blending. But yeah, this is what we look like. Now I'm going to cut the crease on camera for you guys. Oh my god. And I'm going to use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So I'm just going to get that Instagram shot that I need. So I'm going in with my flat concealer brush. The JH42. And I'm going to start cutting out the shape that I want just by tapping on the product slowly but surely and coming all the way into the inner corner I'm really sorry if you can hear that drilling oh my god it's annoying me too oh this is a good shape oh my god I haven't done a cut crease like this in so long where it's like a really good like semicircle being very gentle around this bit because oh it's so easy to like stuff up this under curved moment like I just oh I just take my time with it I guess oh I'm not happy with the shape but I'm gonna have to make do with that because I'll stuff it up otherwise um okay I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back okay so we are back with the creases cut Next, I'm going to go in with Mini Break. I was looking for a shade to represent Thanos' like armour and it's kind of like, it's a gold but like it's an orangey gold but it's kind of got like an ancient kind of tint to it. But I thought um, Rich Bitch would be good but it's like too yellowy gold for Thanos so then I went in to Gold Breaker not gold breaker, alien to look at the gold in there and it's like no it's too like greeny gold then mini breaker has like the perfect gold this was like too much of an explanation to find the perfect gold but I found one <laughs> mini breaker and then slice I'm going to take slice this is just like the perfect kind of color because when you see Thanos in like the comics and stuff, it's like kind of like an orangey gold and then this is like an orangey gold. So I'm going to go in with this. And I'm going to go in with my concealer brush again and just literally pack this all over the lids. Just all over. I'm going to go in with my brush first and then I'll go in my finger because fingers. Am I right ladies? Going to pack this where I can't get with my fingers first. So basically all the way around the edges. Oh, I think I need to put some tape down. I'm gonna go on my finger first and then I'm gonna put some tape down. And I'm just going to, oh, look how much of an impact it has with a finger. Oh my God. That's literally like the perfect Thanos shade. I'm sorry, but I found the perfect Thanos shade. Like look at my shirt, oh actually my shirt's a little bit more yellow. Oh wait, no, look, see like, yep, yeah, perfect shade. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> right, I'm just going to quickly pop some tape off off camera, on off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sucked down some tape and I'm going to start bringing this shade all the way up into like a really dramatic pointed wing. Right up here. Okay, time for the reveal. Hello? Oh my god, my eye. <laughs> Ooh, fine. Oh my god, I really love this colour scheme as well. Okay, so up next is the soul stones. And if I just move my head out the way, we're going to be following this colour scheme of the soul stones. So we're going to start off with blue. So first off, I'm going to take blue velvet and pop that like here. Now, soul stones don't really have shape, do they? So you can just draw whatever shape comes mind I guess right that's the blue one. Oh god have I stuffed up this whole look probably right then I go in with Queen B this will probably look like a hot mess until I'm finished or I would have stuffed up the whole look and I probably won't even post this you will soon find out once you know you if you're watching this I didn't stuff up surprisingly 
Now Queen Bee is really hard because it is almost finished, so let's hope that we have enough left. And I'm just gonna draw a yellow splodge here. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> and then next is Red Red Ram. Red Red Wine. And we're gonna add that like here. They're just gonna be like random splotches cause like stones don't really have a shape, do they? Am I right ladies? Oh my God, can you even like see these? And then we're gonna go in with I'm Royalty. And I'm gonna pop this one right about here. Okay, up next is Equality. This is such a good green. And we're gonna pop this like here. Yeah, I think like once now these are all in order, it looks a lot more like soul stones than splodges on my face. And then the last colour is Flame Thrower. And this is gonna go like right in this dip here. Like so. Oh yeah, now nah, it definitely like is all clicking together. I think I made the blue stone a bit big though, but that's okay. We can fix it hopefully. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go off camera and like add a few little like details to each of the stones, like some white highlights try to and I'm gonna grab like shades from all different kinds of palettes and like add like little highlights to them as well and see what I can do and then I'll be right back okay I definitely think adding the little white highlights helped and now to be just a little bit more extra and to give them like a little bit more of a connection I'm going to go in with a black liner in between each of the lines um, just so that they are like connected and they're not just like floating on my crease they're kind of like connected I hope that makes sense. But yeah. Gonna go in with Miss Roller Liner from Benefit and do that. So let's just grab this and do a line in between each stone. Like so. And then I'm just gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, that took forever. But moving on, we're gonna go into the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go in with Delicious first. And I'm just really going to pile that on next to my waterline. And I don't really think I need to blend it out with, oh my God, I haven't done my foundation yet. That's okay. Um, I'm going to go off camera now, do my foundation, do my lashes, and then we'll come back for the highlighter and the lips, and then we'll be done with the look. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. This is taking forever. I'll be right back. Okay, before I put on eyelashes, I'm gonna do my highlighter, so I'm just gonna do my inner corner, eyebrow bone, and my cheeks with this color. And that color is going to be Jawbreaker. So first off, in my inner corner, and I'm going to bring it like along this part of my eye as well. And then in my eyebrow bone. And then lastly, the cheeks with that same shade. Oof. Yes. It's like a beautiful, bright, yellowy gold. And I'm here for it. It goes really well with my skin tone as well. Okay, brilliant. I'm just going to add lashes now. Oh, I'm also going to do my eyebrows. Forgot to do those. And then we'll be back to finish off the look with the lips. Okay, we are back. The lashes are on. And I've just realized like all the gold's already starting to transfer up, which is annoying. But we're going to go in with lips for the last step. We're going to use Christmas cookie. I thought, let's do a bold lip or let's just do a nude. And I thought, let's just do a nude because the look is a lot. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply that to the lips. Okay guys, and that's the finished look. Okay guys, and that is the finished look. I am 
kind of happy with it. I'm just a little bit upset that the gold has transferred upwards. I thought I cut the crease high enough, but I obviously haven't. Um, but yeah, I am happy with the look and in general, I just wish I could have cut, I should have cut the crease a little bit higher just so that, that gold wouldn't have transferred. Other than that, yeah, I love it. I think it's so cool. I love this shade. I love Slice from Mini Breaker. I think that is such a beautiful shade, and especially with this like navy blue. Oh, I'm feeling it. Like, I really think this look would be good without the Infinity Stones as well. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, I'd literally love to give a massive thumbs up down below. If you would like to give me a colour suggestion, I'm not really sure, like, what kind of coloured look I want to do for my next look so if you just want to suggest a colour down below that you would like to see from me then please leave that down below I will literally use it because <laughs> I don't know what else to do and if you haven't already I would literally love if you subscribe to my YouTube channel we have so many exciting things coming in the post I am expecting the Beauty Bay PR box whenever it arrives I don't I think I will get it soon though because I got I got onto the list on the 7th and it's now like the next month so hopefully soon and then I have pastel liners I found some pastel liners online that I can try out for you guys on here and then I also have the blonde Haki collab with Luna Sky's anime dreams palette which is basically like a rainbow palette that I can try out as well so yeah a lot of exciting things to try out in the future hopefully Beauty Bay PR comes this week that will be really good timing and yeah I think that is it. That's all I want to talk about. Yeah, I need to stop blabbering on. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I also hope you're staying safe and quarantined if you need to. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.